Okay, we're ready. <laughs> Hi, we're back at story time today, and my stories are going to be about pets. Do you have any pets at home? Maybe you have a dog or a cat. Some of these are um, different kind of pets, and then we're going to have a surprise guest. Actually, we're going to have two surprise guests at the end. Okay? <laughs> so my first story is called I Spy Pets. I spy with my little eye something with silky feathers. I like to peck seeds. Can you guess what it is? Let's see if you're right. I'm a canary. Does anybody at home have a canary? Maybe a parakeet? I spy with my little eye something with shiny scales. Can you think of something that has shiny scales? I like to gulp small flakes. What do you think that is? I'm a goldfish. <laughs> a rather big goldfish. I spy with my little eye something with bumpy skin. I like to snap up insects. Look at those eyes. I'm a chameleon. Does anybody have a chameleon at home? I spy with my little eye something with a hard shell. I like to munch lettuce. Have you guessed what it is? It looks like a dog house. You think it's a dog? I'm a turtle. I spy with my little eye something with a fluffy tail, and I like to nibble carrots. I'm a rabbit. I spy with my little eye something with soft fur. I like to eat fish. I'm a cat. I spy with my little eye something with a smooth coat. I like to chew bones. I'm a dog and I spy you. The end. Okay, so I have a little visual aid here my goldfish bowl. Don't worry, I didn't take any live fish out of here to use as my prop today. This sits on my desk and I have my giant goldfish puppet in there. And I just kind of like the idea of the shark on there. Okay, so here we go. I tried figuring out a way how to hang these in here, but it, it just didn't work. Okay, so we have five fancy fish. So we have one, Two, three, four, five. You can pretend there's water in there and that there's swimming around and not sinking to the bottom. All right, so we have five fancy fish at the pet store. Michaela bought one for her mom, and that left four. 
Now we have four fancy fish looking at me. Graham bought one for his dad. And that left three. Sorry, it's upside down. I lost it. <laughs> My assistant had to pick it up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, now we got three fancy fish in a fish pole. They outgrew. PJ bought one for her grandma. And now there are two. Two fancy fish with scales shining in the sun. Junie bought one for her brother. And now there's just one. One fancy fish swimming just for fun. Ethan bought one for his friend Ryder. There we go. There you go, Ryder. And now there are none. There we go. Thank you. Okay. My next book is called Dear Zoo. I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. They sent me an... Get it open all the way. Elephant! Would you like an elephant for a pet? Where would you keep it? But he was too big, so I sent him back. So they sent me a, a giraffe. Oops, can't even put the whole <laughs> There we go. But I guess you can figure out what was wrong with that one. He was too tall. I sent him back. I know somebody in this very room who would have wanted a giraffe when she was a kid. So they sent me a... Uh-oh. <gasps> Lion. But he was too fierce, so I sent him back. I would definitely send a lion back. So they sent me a... A camel. Do you know what was wrong with the camel? He was too grumpy, so I sent him back. So they sent me a, do you think it's a cute little kitten? Hmm, let's see. <gasps> no, <laughs> it's a snake. <laughs> he was too scary, so I sent him back. So they sent me a, I think you can guess what this one is. <gasps> ah, a monkey, but he was too naughty, so I sent him back. So they sent me a frog, but he was too jumpy, so I sent him back. So they thought very hard and sent me a and he was perfect. Okay, <laughs> so I have um, a story called Cats Are Cats. You can see what that is. It's a cat. Miss Bell loved cats. One day she went to the pet shop to get a little kitten. He was very cute. He had stripes like a tiger. He had a tail like a tiger. He had a smile like a tiger. So Miss Bell named him Tiger. She loved her little tiger very much. She played with him. She fed him. She watched TV with him. Tiger grew 
and grew and grew. Tiger took over the whole house. But he still was very cute, and Miss Bell still loved her tiger. One day they went for a walk. Tiger stopped at the pet store. Sorry, <laughs> the pages are sticky together. Okay. Cats are cats, Miss Bell said. They love fish. So you see, she bought him some fish. Look very cozy at those fish. Tiger was happy. He loved his fish. One of his fish grew and grew and grew. But she was still very cute. Fish are fish, said Miss Bell. We all live happily ever after. Yeah. Okay, so I have a special guest today. Right? Like I said, I have two special guests. Just to show you that there's all kinds of pets out there. So uh, the one special guest is my great niece, Erin, and her pet, Dixie. Do you know what this is? I bet you there's somebody out there that knows, because I know there's somebody out there who really wanted one of these. This is Dixie the Hedgehog. Isn't she cute? And Erin showered her last night. <laughs> I says, this isn't smell a vision Nobody's going to know. But, I know, but she needed a bath. <laughs> but she said she needed a bath, so, yeah. She's a good girl. She can be a stinker at times, but she's a good girl. Let's see if she can get her to roll up into a ball. Oh, isn't that cool how she rolls up into a ball? We have a stuffed animal at the library that we roll up into a ball and you can open it. And we use it for night owls. You've got a cute face. <laughs> Look at what I got here. This is my version of a hedgehog. <laughs> see, look at it. Does that look just like you? Huh? Is this your friend? She's like, oh, she wanted. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not putting it too close. <laughs> okay. She's going to go back for her nap again. Thank you, Erin. No problem. <laughs> so, this is the craft. <laughs> You're going to make your own hedgehog. So, just in case you wanted one, now you can have one. Okay? So, I'll put it right here. Well, you can't really see it there, but that's okay. We'll refer to it. All right. Now, remember, I don't have all the supplies I can normally have at the library so we have to make do with what we got again you can do this with brown construction paper you can do this with white paper and color it I don't know do hedgehogs come in different colors Erin they do okay so you can make your own color hedgehog okay so you gotta take a piece of paper and since I still don't have a ruler I'm going to use this because Miss Lori cannot draw a straight line for anything. Okay. And so you want about two, two and a half inches. It's up to you, really. I want you to make it your own. And you see, I just drew a line and I'm going to cut it out. Remember to use child safe scissors or have an adult do this for you. You're just going straight down. If you can draw, if you can cut a straight line, then do it. But Miss Lori can't. So I might put 
Okay, so then you're going to take this and you're going to line it up with the other end. See? And you're going to put some glue on it. You don't want to put glue all over it. You're just going to put it at the top, but you want to make sure you have enough glue on there. So maybe, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you'll see that it's just at the top. See, it's just right there, and I stopped. And then you're going to fold the paper over, line it up again. Okay. Push it down, and you're going to give that a chance to dry. So in the meantime, you want your paper again. And this time I'm just going to, oops, okay, use my ruler again. <laughs> like I said, Miss Lori can not draw a straight line. And you're just going to make little strips. And I'm only going to make about two because that should be more than enough. So I'm going to go down once, go move it over a little bit, try to get it almost like the other one. Go down two. I think I need my ruler in there. See how, I don't know if you can see the strips, there's two of them. Can you cut those out? That's one. Two. Okay. Then you take one of the strips and you cut off just a little bit of the corner. I'm going to leave a mess here today. Okay, just like that. And then you go down maybe just a little bit, an inch, an inch and a half. And you want to cut it sideways like that so you have that slant. Let's see if I, you can see it. See it? Let's see. Just like that. So I got one, two, three, four, Five. And then when you get to the last one, you're going to cut off the corner again. Make sure you cut it the opposite of what... There you go, like that. All right, here we go. We're going to cut the other ones so that they'll all be ready. So we cut off a little corner. And then we cut one. And you'll get as many as you can. If you need more strips, then you can get more strips. But... Um, Okay, I don't need that one. All right. Now this is still drying. So you want to turn it around this way so it's facing you. Like this one's facing you. If I can put it up a little bit where you guys can see it. Okay? And you take one of your strips, like that, and you put some glue. And you want to make sure there's enough, but you don't want too much. And then you just start, I started at the bottom. Let's see if I can do it backwards. You know, Miss Lori. Okay. Because you have other things that you have to put on there. So, I don't know if you can really see that. You'll see it better when you do it at home. Okay. And then, uh, I dropped it already. And you just keep adding the strips. I sort of did it where I did one on each side. You can see the one on each side. And then I did one. In the middle. Bless you. <laughs> okay, one in the middle. And then you want to take the next strip and put it in the middle of two of the strips. So you are moving up and filling it in like that. Now you can see that some of mine are curled. If you want them curled, you don't want them all curled necessarily, but you want some of them, but you have to do that before you glue it on because you're going to have to give the, it time to glue to the glue to stick. 
So if you do it before, and put some glue on. Okay. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. You do it the way you want to do it. There we go. And then I'll add some more. Okay. And you go off a little bit more. And another one. And you may use all the ones that you have, or you may not. The only thing is you do want to start because, if you see, you're going to be adding eyes and a nose. So you have to have room for those. Okay? And then I'll stick one more on. But that leaves me three left, but I don't think I need them. Oh, and I want to curl this one. So i got to do it before. Curl it and hold it there for a little bit. Okay. There you go. See, it's already starting to look like a hedgehog. Okay, now, um, as you can see, I have googly eyes on mine. Because we bought the last four packages of googly eyes at Target for our craft next week. And I will make sure that you guys, while well, supplies last, get um, some googly eyes. So I'm just going to take some white paper, and just like I can't draw a straight line, I can't draw a perfect circle, but if you want to draw a circle freehand, you can do that. So I'm using a nickel, because it's about the same size as the googly eyes. And I just go trace around it, Okay, and then remember you need two eyes, so you want to cut some of it out enough to fold it in half so that you can cut once, but you'll get two eyes from it, okay? see it better. So I have two eyes. Okay. Can you get my marker out? Sorry. And the few supplies I do have is a black marker. And you can just color in some part of the eye. And I just take it and do it off to the side and then fill it in. You can put a dot in the middle. You can do it any way you want. If you have um, different colors and you want to make different color eyes, go for it. What color eyes do hedgehogs have? They're black. They're black. So mm -hmm. see, I'm doing it right. Okay. Okay. Now, so we have the two eyes. You can do them any way you want. You can have them, I don't know, let's see if you can put this up, that's why I did this. Okay, you can have them like as if they're looking down, I don't know if you can really tell it on there. You can have them looking sideways, you can have them looking up, or if you have just a dot, whichever way you want to do it, that's just part of the fun. So then you put some glue on there, and I'm going to have my hedgehog's eyes like this, as if they're looking off to the side, just so you can see what I mean. Okay. What do hedgehogs eat, Karen? They eat cat food and mealworms. Oh, that's right. I've seen you guys feed <laughs> and the mealworms. 
Yes. <laughs> okay, there we go. So there's what we got so far. All right, so then you need black paper or white paper and color it black, whichever way. All right, now you need a oval shape. You don't need a circle, you need an oval shape. And I'm going to try doing this freehand. So I'm just going to make, I try to make it a little bit bigger because then I can cut it down if I need to. And I save my scraps, at least my big scraps, because <laughs> I need the supplies. <laughs> So, who knows what I'll use it for next time. Alright, so, you probably can't see it, but there's an oval. You'll see it when it's cut. Okay. Do, um... Hedgehogs sleep during the day and stay up at night? Yes, they yes. are nocturnal. That's right. And that's why um, Erin's hedgehog sleeps in her brother's room now. <laughs> because she has two jobs and she needs her sleep. And so um, Dixie has been sharing a room with Erin's brother, Andrew. <laughs> but he's really good about it. He loves her just as much as she does. Okay, so you put glue on the back. Stick it at the bottom. It does move. Okay, there we go. There's the hedgehog with paper eyes, and here's the hedgehog with googly eyes. I think they're both adorable. Okay, that's all we have for today. Our next story time will be about just dogs as pets, okay? And I will show you a picture of my two dogs, I have Chunk and Bella, and we will also show a picture or show you um, Aaron's dog, Toby. If you have a pet and want to share that information with us, do so on our website, okay? Thank you guys. Take care. See ya.